as you may know, I'm a very, very big fan of the Pokemon franchise. And I've been playing this series for years, and I still do find this series very engaging and look forward to the new Pokemon game every time a new release is around the corner. And the release for Scarlet and Violet was no different. I actually tried to avoid trailers and press releases so that I could end the game pretty blind, and I think it was the right choice, as when I played through the game I was amazed at all the new Pokemon that I had no idea of. And, of course, with the new Pokemon game comes new Shinies as well. If you don't know what a shiny Pokemon is, it's basically a rare, recolored version of the regular Pokemon. But with new Shinies comes the good the bad, and the ugly. Uh, so that's what I wanted to focus on today. I want to fix some Gen 9 Shinies. Okay, so uh, I think we're going to start with the starter Pokemon. Uh, they're the first Pokemon you meet on your journey, so I think it's a good place to start fixing Shinies. Shiny starters are normally quite mid, in my opinion, with only one of the three really getting a nice Shiny, and I feel like that's the same here. So we're going to start with Mouscarada. Mouscarada. It is the Weed Cat's final evolution. Now, I'm not really a fan of this design. Um, I think I mentioned in the first reveal of these starters that I'd prefer if it stayed on four legs. You know, a design similar to that, like a, a Smilodon or a Sabertooth Tiger. But that's not the point of this video. Meowth this shiny is decent, but I like it when shiny Pokemon look quite different from their normal form. So, my first aim here was to see what colours would look nice in place of the dark green leafy elements. I experimented with this orangey red colour scheme to give the Pokemon more of an autumnal feel. Um, and I was a big fan of this dark red colour I landed on. I think it worked really well with this orange colour that I originally picked out. Um, and I just liked the red itself. I feel like on a, on a on the 3D model this could look very cool. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with the purple parts of the design. Originally experimenting with an orange colour. But I decided on a blue colour as it contrasts nicely against the rest of the colour scheme I chose. Um, I was pretty happy with the third colour that the design already had, so I didn't think it needed that big of a change, so I just shifted the colour over to something more of a yellow-orange, which tied the, the whole design together. But I definitely could have done better, as I'm looking at this while I'm editing this video, and I see some things I could change, but I do prefer it to the shiny we actually received. Nintendo, step up your game. So next up we've got the Fue Coco line, um, in particular Skelly Dirge. This is my favourite starter Pokemon this generation. Um, and I think he's got the best shiny as well, in my opinion. Um, I really did not know what to expect when Free Coco was announced, but I'm very happy with the design they opted to go with, and I feel like the shiny it received isn't actually that bad. But I had a few ideas anyways how I could change it. I wasn't a fan of this simple change from pink to blue, um, and would have been happy if we received this, but it wasn't the idea I had envisioned anyway. However, I do think this blue looks really nice. I was a fan of this simple change from pink to blue, and would have been happy if we received this from Nintendo, but it wasn't the idea I had envisioned, so we change up. I wanted to go green, like an actual crocodile or alligator. If you've ever seen my other shiny fix content, you know I absolutely love when flames are blue. I think it is so cool. I don't know what it is about it, but they just go so hard. Pony to shiny especially just goes so hard, even if it just has blue flames. So I took my chance, and I made these flames blue. And my god, they go hard. However, there was one final change I had to make to completely overhaul the shiny. I want to turn the white elements black. Boom. It's perfect. I can see why people would not like my shiny, but I think it looks heaps better than what we actually received. I think the green colour linking it back to crocodiles is a fun reference to its design, and the blue flames help represent the ghost typing this Pokemon has. I think, yeah, I think blue flames do look quite ghostly, um, but I'm just a fan of them in general, so, you know, if I could work it in any way, I will. And I think this design goes pretty hard. And finally... Quacquavel... Quacquavel... Quacquavel? I don't know how you say this guy's name. I'm not really a fan of this design, or, or the Quaxi line in general really, but that doesn't stop my disappointment at the shiny form. I'll be real, didn't really have any idea of what to do to fix this shiny, so I went in blind and just had to go to see what might stick. I cycled through different colours, I was a fan of this colour scheme that I landed on. It sort of has Big Bird vibes to it, if you know if you know of Big Bird. I feel like adding these dark elements to the design really worked well as well and had a little extra to the shiny. This shiny took less effort than the other two, but I think it does look quite nice. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm not a fan of this Pokemon or the Pokemon's evolution line in general. Um, so yeah, I think it's quite quite an L of a Pokemon. But you know, it's the start of Pokemon, so we have to we have to fix it up anyway. Um, it, it looks alright, you know. It looks okay. Next up, we've got a duo here: Armor Rouge and Sorrel Edge. I'm a big fan of these two and their designs. Their shinies leave a lot to be desired. It's only such a mischance, and it was a criminal miss from Game Freak for them to not utilize this idea which was to swap their colours for their shiny forms. Personally, out of the two, I prefer Armor Rouge, so I started with them. 
I think the Shirai Jesh color scheme suits um, the design of Armour Rouge quite well. The blue and purple color scheme works well with its bulky design. And I think it's just such a shame that Game Freak didn't take this opportunity. You know how much of a fan I am of Blue Flames too, so that always gets bonus points from me. Then we've done its Violet counterpart, Serilege. And it's writing this that I realise Armourish's name is a nod to the red colour that featured in its design, and the game it featured in as well. Anyway, we want to Serilege. This Pokemon has a very sleek design. It reminds me of Bishop, who I must say has a brilliant shiny. It looks very good in the Armourish colours too, and feels like it could be this some character in like a mecha anime. A bit of a colour tweak could have used to differentiate the arms from the blade, but you know what, in a 3D model that could be very distinguishable. I'm using these sprites, and I found a link in the description if you want to use them. But yeah, I'm very happy with these two changes I've made. I think these palette swaps were a missed opportunity from Game Freak, and I would always see them that way. I think whenever there's like a duo Pokemon like this, version exclusives who look quite similar, I think they should just swap their colour palettes if they have different designs and different colour palettes. Because these both evolved from the same Pokemon, I thought it'd be very nice if their shiny forms were just palette swaps. But hey, Nintendo didn't think the same thing, which is fair enough, I guess. And finally... We move on to Fluttermane. Now this was requested by a friend on Discord, but I did want to look at the Paradox Pokemon um, for the final Pokemon I changed because there are so many cool designs there and I think they're just a very cool Pokemon added to the game. I was very excited to see those as I had no like pre-information about them, so I was very interested to see those designs for the first time. In all fairness, the Fluttermane shiny does follow the mischievous line, which makes sense seeing as they're distantly related. But I was never a fan of their shinies, so this was a good reason for me to remedy that. I didn't really have much of an idea of how I was going to fix this shiny, but when all else fails, we can always fall back on Old Faithful. So I made the shiny black. That was already a vast improvement, but there was still some work to do. As well, black and red is a nice combination. I wanted to change it up a bit. So I added those pink and purple elements, and I think they look a lot nicer than red and orange ones in my opinion. And they add elements which are a reference to its fairy typing as well. Black works well with so many colours, so making a shiny black is kind of a cheat code to be fair. I'm very happy with the design I ended up on. I didn't really have any ideas, as I said, when I went into it. So, you know, I just messed around with some colours and this design actually goes very hard. So, you know, Nintendo, if you want to put these designs in the game, you know, just hire me, guys. You know, you can reach me with my, my emails or my Twitter, you know. Just get in touch, man. I'll only take like 50% of your sales. It's fine, you know? Very reasonable pricing. So yeah, those are the shiny Pokemon I changed for Generation 9. There were obviously so many Pokemon I could have looked at, but I chose some of my favourites because it's my video. I can do what I like. Yeah, it's something I really enjoy doing. Creating new shinies is always a fun experiment as it allows an exploration of Pokemon design and can yield some really interesting results. Like I said, a lot of Pokemon look good in black. A lot of shiny Pokemon created by Game Freak are really lacking in creativity. Now for early shinies, that can be excused because of the technological limitations of the time. But as technology develops, there is no excuse. There is no chance Nintendo or Game Freak will change their shiny designs once they're completed and once they're in game. That's never happened before. There's no precedent for it. And they're probably never going to do it. But it's just a really fun experiment we can undertake. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.